Tonight I'm going to work on this FP101 because I need to earn myself a new engine. I, some of you might have heard about my flight night before last where my engine just started making all kinds of rattling sounds and then smoothed out. And I just didn't know what was going to happen. And, and then I was so focused on my airspeed and making sure I was high enough that I was too high to make my landing. So I had to go around uh, with an engine. I didn't know it was gonna make it. Now I do believe it could be that I, uh, I put, I mixed my oil 75 to one. I was being talked into doing it 100 to one, which I just could not imagine doing. But they say with your head down, inverted engine and uh, some high quality high ash two cycle oil that you can go a hundred to one I didn't do that I did 75 to one that's the only thing I did different so why my engine was acting up I don't know but uh, I thickened up the oil a little bit and uh, well I, I brought it to 50 to one and uh, so tonight I'm going to Check the gearbox, make sure that's not what was rattling. My prop, I already checked my prop. All my prop bolts are good and tight and safety wired and it's good and secure. So, uh, and then I'm gonna do an engine run later on if I get, if I get time. Well, back to this FP-101. One of the reasons, the main reason the cables, uh, the, the um, ailerons would not turn once I snugged up the uh, the carry through uh, turnbuckle there as soon as I tightened that up I couldn't budge the ailerons well it's because there's no pulley down here they're just relying on a plastic tube and and the plastic tube runs the entire length and not only does it run the entire length it twists around the strut tube and comes out on the front side because it uses bell cranks that come out, go through the spar. So, lots of friction, and you, you, I can get good movement with the ailerons only if I leave the upper carry through very loose. So I have to make new dog bones that are longer. Uh, for for the uh, carry through turnbuckle Well, the wings are level and the horizontal stabilizer has got quite a bit of downward pressure nose high Angle, I'm not sure how that'll work uh, With this plane mine seems to fly with a perfectly straight elevator flat and level uh, with almost neutral perfect exact same angle of attack as the bottom of the wing uh, for the horizontal stabilizer so having downward pressure on this uh, stabilizer I think we might need to do some adjusting and it has two rods so it's more than it take more than just lengthening out or putting spacers under there oh he oh Take a spacer out of the back. He put a spacer in the back. Whoever built it has a spacer in the back. Take that out, but then, geez, you can't just do that because you have. Yeah, it's a lot better when you only have the one rod in the back and then you adjust it in the front. But not knowing whether or not it's flown, but it's 30 some years old, I would assume there's a reason for that spacer to be on the back. So what I'm gonna do is get it at least so I can crow hop it on the long runway and see it, see what it wants to do. Who knows, maybe there's a reason. Maybe it's the uh, 440 engine on the front it makes it so you need to have a little bit of tail down force. But you never want to use control surfaces to come overcome 
something that's out of CG or out of uh, your center of gravity is too far forward or aft, uh, that's a bad practice. So next I need uh, these struts I go from up there to right down there. That's 31 inches of, well, 5 8 tube, I think is what's on mine. But if I got 3 quarter, that's what I'll use. And, of course, I'll have to have something to put them in. I'll show you mine. Well, I found a piece of 3 quarter. It comes from the strut from our first accident, which was an engine out. And... Uh, had to put it down in a field that was lined with arbovita bushes and this here main strut which of course you can see is very large and heavy sheared it right off ripped it right off but that wing kept on flying just hanging on the rear spar and yeah it shattered a lot of geodetic in the wing but that wing was solid enough we used it to to limp the plane onto the trailer uh, lift, lifting up the, the plane just with the rear, that rear spar. But anyways, that's not quite long enough to get both of the uprights that I need. So I'll have to check at home. Then I'm going to get the uh, bungees all secured up on the landing gear. And at that time, I'll probably do a weight and balance on it. And do another thorough inspection. Try to get the engine running. Uh, he says it should start right up, but then I don't believe he's started it in several years.